Um, welcome to Prelude to Ulysses. This is Alex Reads Littler Things, where we're going to read a littler thing. Uh, this is the YouTube channel where we read stuff out loud and try to do an in-depth analysis. of it this will be my final episode (laughs) (laughs) i gotta tell you it feels kind of crazy Having done hundreds of these episodes, and I don't think a single person has watched. Well, I should, yeah, no, they're shared now. I mean, I'm not like advertising them. Though. There's something, something good about it for me. I don't know. I haven't done this for a while. I've been pretty depressed. Uh, still am, but I know this cheers me up a little bit. So let's do it. I like pretending I'm on TV. I want to be on TV, but I don't think I can handle it. So this is what we get. We're going to be reading a little out of Aha Gotcha, Paradoxes to Puzzle and Deligged by Martin Gardner. He looks like this. Can you believe that? Let's see if I can get a reflection of the phone in this reflection. Do you see that? Is there a double? Okay. I can't tell. Oh, you can kind of see it. I want to get this guy's reflection in the phone, in this reflection, in the... Oh, never mind. Just shut the fuck up. Listen, I know that I'm not well-liked in this community. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know anybody in this community. <clears throat> Um, maybe I should just get to it. I don't really like this book. Did we, what what was the last one we did, you think? I think it was a longer one. Dull versus interesting. Okay. This is called Semantics and Set Theory. I'm sorry we don't have the, uh, whiteboard anymore. It's... It's over there, but I couldn't hang it on the wall anymore because I moved the table about a foot closer to me. And since then, we're just in a different place. We're in a different state of mind. We're in a different part of the house. Semantics and set theory. So set is an Egyptian god um, I don't remember which one. The correspondence between semantic, which says truth value paradoxes, and set theory or class paradoxes. Excuse me. I don't understand anything I just said. Springs from the fact that Springs from the fact that every truth value statement can be rephrased as a statement about sets and vice versa. Don't know what that means. Let's figure it out. For example, all apples are red means that the set of all apples is a subset of the set of all red things. Okay. This can be rephrased in truth value language as the semantic statement. If it is true that X is an apple, then it is true that X is red. (laughs) 
Why wouldn't they use like a true example? Right? How about all apples are come from trees? That's true, right? So if X is an apple, then X came from a tree, right? Because not all apples are red. It's not even a whole lot more words. It's just more, okay, whatever. Consider the liar paradox assertion. This statement is false. That's the statement. It can be translated into the following set statement. The, this assertion is a member of the set of all false assertions. Okay, I like that statement. If the statement actually does belong to the set of all false assertions, then what it asserts is true, and therefore it cannot belong to the set of false statements. So that's what begins a paradox. I don't... What's set theory? What's set theory? What's semantics? What's set... Me, what's semantics? It says truth value? I thought semantics was like... The specific meaning, the web, according to Webster definition, we're going to look up the word semantics. If the statement actually does belong to a set of all, and if the statement does not belong to the set of all false assertions, then what it asserts is false. And therefore, it must belong to the set of all false statements. Every semantic paradox has its analogy in set theory, and every set theory paradox has its semantic analog. I don't really get the point of that. Also, I really don't get... So, I mean, these are ways to notice that people are full of shit, right? Is that, is that what this is? Is that what this whole thing is? I don't know anything. I hate everybody. I don't hate everybody. You know, I have strings for this. I just don't know how to string it. Let me do two. Should do some yoga though. What was the thing I just did?
I mean, if paradoxes only exist in the mouth of human beings, who fucking cares? What's the point of studying something that only exists because we willed it into like fake existence? Well, I guess because the thing is, because you got to call out liars. I, I guess you shouldn't be surprised that things are human oriented I don't know I just don't know what to think about anything constantly like double questioning myself I don't know if what I think is relevant I don't know if what I think is real or even my own thoughts how brainwashed are we as a species we read these books our thoughts are fed to us our beliefs are fed to us by people whose beliefs were fed to them and fucking up the chain for a million years. What's the fucking point? What's the point of thinking, right? What's the point of doing anything besides playing music, producing art, things that are abstractly unique, things that have no planning, no structure, things that are plucked out of air. Those are the only things I really find joy in. Accidents. I really like watching Godzilla movies. Not about Godzilla. Not at all. I mean, that's a part of it. But they have these set pieces in these 60s movies I'm watching that are just so fucking hilarious. They're so good. Like, they have these, like, balloons. Like, it's supposed to be, like, a weather control balloon or whatever that floats up in the air. And it's just a balloon. It's just a balloon with twine tied to it, and the way it moves makes it pretty obvious that it's, like, tiny. It's an accident. And it's beautiful, because that's the best shot they got. It's so funny. I prefer that. I don't want things to be good. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's all semantics. All right, let's look up the word semantics. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry to all of my viewers, though. Semantics. Was good it doesn't matter it doesn't matter who being so hard on yourself i'm mad all the time you hear those stories about people with traumatic brain injuries getting madder and madder and i've had issues with my head injuries one time i fell off a bridge or something i don't know if i was hit by a car or something i woke up in a river and no hours had passed i was riding my bike i'd been drinking of course across a river, 
the bridge across the river. And I woke up hours later um, up to my chest in water, frozen glacier water, the bicycle on top of me. My shoulder was dislocated. I had scars all over my face, split open. I'm not saying that's a turning point in my life, but I feel myself getting so mad. I don't know if I'm, if my feelings are relevant. What are you doing here? Dude, if no one cares, then I could say whatever I want. Good point. Garlic. All right, what are we looking at? Semantics. Sulfa. Sulfa is related chemically to sulfonilamide, or pertaining to or consisting of or involving a sulfa drug or drugs. So sulfalinamide is a crystalline sulfur containing compound formerly used to treat bacterial infections. Interesting. Sulfur is a non-metallic element, ordinarily a flammable solid, yellow solid of widespread occurrence in combined form as in sulfide and sulfate compounds and cellular proteins. Shut the fuck up. Slake. Slake is to allay by satisfying, to quench, to cool or refresh. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard the word slake used. Short. Shogun. Shepherd. Sexagenarian. It's not as cool as it sounds. Sequester, sensualize, sepsis? Oh no. Semantics. A branch of linguistics dealing with the study of meaning, including the ways meaning is structured in language and changes in meaning and form over time. Love it. The branch of semantics or logic dealing with the relationship between signs or symbols and what they denote. Number three, the meaning or, an, or interpretation of the meaning of a word, sign, sentence, etc. Thank you. I was kind of right. Sorry about everything that just happened. It 
it's nice to have a worst episode ever all the time, though. All right, Charles Bukowski, get over here. I don't know. Fuck this gotcha shit. I don't. I'll read more, but what I don't know. I just don't care today. I care sometimes. I thought the dull versus interesting was pretty fun, but I just I couldn't get. I can't read. I don't know. I'm not a person. I'm not a person. Is there anything short enough in this to read? Rape, rape. Oh, thank you. That's the name of a. I'm looking to see if anything. Any two stories start on the same page or close. Because I, I don't want to read more than a page. It doesn't look like that's the case. It's okay. We don't need to read Bukowski. I do like Charles Bukowski, though. It's sad to relate to that person. Without further ado, let's pretend like we could play the saw now. Okay. 